Hello guys, let's discuss this problem in Hacker Rank called Class 2 Find the Torsional Angle. So let me clear this thing first. They have told us that it is in class section, but actually they have already defined the code for us. So basically we don't have to define the class, so it is not that much, the concept of class is not that clear. We just have to write some functions and that's it. So basically it is just math. So I am not going to do this, solve this problem in that way. I am going to explain you line by line that why we wrote these things in the predefined code and so on. First of all, let us understand the problem. So they are giving us some theory you can read to yourself. This is nothing but the formula for calculating the torsional angle. For that we need four points, which is the input format actually. One line of input containing x, y, z. So basically three planes. X plane, y and z axis. Three axis actually. So instead of, so basically we have three axis. That's why we are having three points, which is x, y and z. And in the, in the same way, we have four points actually, a, b, c and d. And by using these four points, we have to calculate the torsional angle between them. Right, between these points. So this is the torsional angle and they have told us, I think they, we have to calculate them, them in degrees. The angle in degrees, not in radians that they have actually done in the predefined code. So I'll do one thing, I'll copy this predefined code and paste it on PyCharm so that we get the idea of what is happening, right? So first of all, I've imported math to use some libraries of math, you know. So I'll go to the main function directly so that we can jump to the code line by line. So points is a list firstly, then for I in range 4, why did we write range 4? Because 4 points, right? So 4 points means these 4 points, for I in range 4, we are going to use A equals to list and map, we are using a map function to get the input. Input dot split means we are using the input dot split to get inputs and spaces. That is zero, then there is space, then there is space, and so on. That's why input dot split. And this way we are appending it four times. So four times we append it, and this way we will get four points, right? So we got four points inside of this points list. Now we have root a comma b comma c comma d equals to this thing. That is nothing but a equals to points of zero that star points of zero then b equals to points of points of one and so on star points of one and so on so basically what is this points this points is nothing but the class that is defined over here so now let us see what is this class points so inside of this class i am having firstly i am having one parameter which is the object and then i am having an init function what is in it whenever we call the points class it this gets initialized by itself so we have we don't have to call it it gets called by default whenever we call this basically it is a constructor so instead of this, what do we do? If you are aware, we do self.x equals to x, self.y equals to y to, uh, to initialize the, you know, this is binding actually. So we will type it. So in this way, we binded all the things that is self.x equals to x and so on. This is fine. This is easy. Now, what is this define sub? I don't know what it is. So I'll do anything. I'll just comment it out for now because I don't know what, is, what does it do, you know. So I'll just comment it out for now. Then we have to define dot. Dot product is what, and I know you guys are smart, so you guys might know the formula of dot product, which is really easy between two points, two vectors actually, I should say. Between dot product between two vectors is a scalar quantity, which is basically x1, x2, y1, y2, and z1, z2. So I'm having one number. They have to give gave us one number. Okay, yeah, here. So they have given us a number. So obviously this is a function, so I'm going to have to return something. So I'm going to return, but I'm going to return the class object only. So see, I'm going to return points of I have uh, three values, right? Because I'm doing the calculating the dot product, I need the three values to be returned, which are these values. So x, the value for x, the value for y, and the value for z. So okay, fine. Let us let us see what we can do about it. So I'll do one thing. I'll just use parameters. So round bracket. I mean round brackets. So this value is for x, this is for y, and this is for z. So now inside of this, what I, what we are going to do is now we have to calculate the dot product. So basically, this not, this is nothing but self dot x into number dot x so basically this this is nothing but x1 dot x x1 into x2 x1 into sorry y1 into y2 and so on so this will be self dot y into y number dot y and so on and for z as well so i'll type it so see if you see define dot product we are having self dot x into number so basically this is a parameter and inside of this what we are we are just using number dot x so number dot x means the x coordinate of this number this is a point actually so the x coordinate of this number gets whenever it number dot x, it, this means we are getting access to the numbers. So see, you can see over here parameter number. So see, whenever we have x, where x number has these three values x, y, and z. So whenever, whenever you write number dot x, you get the x coordinate. Number dot y, you get the y coordinate, and similarly z coordinate. And we are having self dot x. Self dot x means nothing but this thing. Basically, the point that we are using to initialize. In the same way, we are just basically x1, x2, y1, y2, and y1, y3. In this way, we will get the dot product. Now the cross product. So cross product is actually tricky. The formula is kind of tricky. 
So if you see the formula, we use the matrix to calculate it. So A to B3 and so on. I am not having the time to type so much. So I have it already over here. Yeah, it is here. I'll just copy it and I'll explain the formula, what it is actually. So yeah. So if you see, we are returning the same thing, points, and we don't have to use cross. Okay. We are returning points in the same way that we did over here, but the formula is different. So self dot y into number adjust. So if you see, this is nothing but A3. Okay, A2 actually. So see, the formula is A2, B3. So A2, B3 means C. A2 means Y coordinate and B3 means the second number is Z coordinate and so on. This is nothing but the formula. I hope you know it. If you don't know it, you can search Google it up. It's easy. So we have defined the dot product. We have defined the cross product. This is already defined for us. So we don't have to worry about it. So we saw all the class. So where were we? We saw this thing. We saw this thing. We saw this thing. Then we were on this thing and we jumped to the points class to see what is happening over there. Now see x equals to b minus a dot cross and actually it is if you see it is highlighting us we, right now we don't know why it is highlighting so we'll wait for it so according to us the thing is done so basically it is calculating angle by using cos and all so on we don't have to worry about the formula so let us do one thing we define everything there's there's nothing left i guess but this thing is left we don't know what it is and we don't know what is used so i'll just run this code and see what happens so i ran this code and i'll do one thing i'll copy this thing so copy and paste it over here and hit enter so if you see it is saying uh, on this line in module unsupported operand for minus so minus right so this is nothing but over here so this is nothing but actually subtraction so we have to define this subtraction for them because we haven't defined it for them that's why it is showing us some error and if you see it was highlighted highlighted as well over here it was highlighted before now it is not so i have, i'll have to obviously define this thing so this is nothing but this is nothing but the subtraction of both the points. So return, I am going to have to return the same thing as I did before. So points of again three values. So the first value, second value. Okay, hold on, I did something wrong. So return points of inside of this, I am going to have to return x. Then this will, this brackets will, these brackets will be for y and these for z. So for x, obviously the same thing. Self dot x minus okay, not equals to minus number dot x number dot x. And the same way I'm going to have to return self dot y minus number dot z number dot y and so on. Yeah, it is done now. So if you see, we just have returned the difference basically, the subtraction between the points. That is nothing but this thing. So self dot x minus number dot x, self dot y minus number dot y, self dot z minus number dot z. Now obviously we'll have to you will have to ask the question why do we write underscore underscore? Actually, we don't call it underscore underscore, we call it double underscore sub double underscore. So if you see it, if you have a cursor away, if you see points define self to so basically what does it do subtraction so if you see over oh, here also we use this thing so what is the speciality these are known as magic functions and basically what does it do whenever we write this minus sign it's get it gets invoked automatically so basically you don't have to call it it gets binded to it and we have to not to call it so basically i again told you that we don't call any function it gets called automatically that's why these are magic functions because they work automatically that is nothing related to wizardry and all but yeah, that's that's the thing about it. I can't explain many things about them in this tutorial. It will be very long. So you can Google it up. What are magic functions? What is under, double underscore sub double underscore? You can Google it up. Now let us run this code and see if it is working or no. So I ran the code and paste the points, not this thing. I have to copy the points. So copy. And I'll paste them over here. And hit enter. So again, it is having some error. And what's the error? Okay, I got the error. Dot function, right? So I did something wrong in the dot function. So if you see it is highlighted. So in dot function, yeah, I got it. So I told you all dot is not a vector quantity, it's a scale, scalar quantity. I don't I wrote the formula wrong. So it is not comma, it is plus. Yeah, now I hope it works. Yeah, now let's run this code. And after so many corrections, I hope it works now. So paste it, hit enter. Again error yeah i got a point so i told you it is a scalar, scalar quantity so you don't have to use this points class so to make it scalar i don't want the points class i can simply write the self dot x self dot y and basically return a number integer i want to not integer actually floating point it will be a floating or whatever it may be you don't have to worry about it, it can be an integer or a floating point value so now i hope it works yeah let us run this code again and see enter yeah we got the answer 8.19 i hope it is right yeah it is right Finally, now I'll have to copy the changes that I did over here. So I think I did changes in this. Uh, obviously, I have to bind them. So copy and paste it over here. After that, we change the sub. We change everything basically. I'm copying everything. So okay, fine. So if you see, I'll just do anything. I'll maximize the code so that it is visible to you guys. So I did changes over here, over here, and over here. That's all that I did. 
and uh, obviously cross as well and other things are same as they were so now again i'll do one thing minimize it and let us submit it let us see what happens let us run this code so yeah obviously sample cases right we checked it for ourselves yeah these all cases are working there's no error so if you have any doubt you can obviously ask me in the comment section i tried my best to solve it so that's all from my side you can subscribe to my channel for getting updates regarding more new videos updates about electronics stuff and many stuff so that's all stay tuned and keep learning thank you